ओके सो लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन ओके दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड मेनी ऑफ द टाइम स्टूडेंट गेट कंफ्यूज ओके सो आई विल सी आई विल डील थ्री सर्किट्स हेयर सो इन ऑल द सर्किट यू नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी वन वी टू एंड आई फर्स्ट सर्किट इज दिस सेकेंड सर्किट इज द सेम बट देर इज ग्राउंड मैंशन थर्ड सर्किट इज द सेम बट देर इज ग्राउंड मैंशन एट बोथ ऑफ द साइड वोट विल वोट चेंजेस इट विल ब्रिंग दैट वी विल सी ओके there is one simple thing i told you already whatever the current battery gives whatever the current battery gives it takes back the same amount of current current battery gives it takes back the same amount of current of current okay so let's just assume this battery is giving you i1 current that means it will take back the same amount of current i1 that means this i1 current is flowing here if it is taking back the same amount of current i1 that means this i1 current has to flow here as well right so in the complete loop i1 current is flowing what did you see i1 current is flowing here so it is taking back the same amount of current i1 but there is no other path mentioned right there is no other path this i1 current has to flow this one ohm resistance and also through this one ohm resistance because because of this i1 so this complete current is flowing in this loop only so if this complete current is flowing in this loop there should be no current going that way right similarly with this let's just assume it is giving you i2 current so that means it will take back the same amount of current i2 that means it will also take the same amount of current so the same amount of current is flowing in the complete circuit so the complete i2 current is flowing in this loop and complete i1 current is flowing in this loop that means there is no current in this 0.5 ohm resistance so the value of i is 0 ampere can you determine the value of v1 and v2 is there any ground mentioned we can assume any ground okay we can assume any ground anywhere if i assume ground here what will be the potential of v1 the potential of v1 would be 3 volt and the same potential will be same the potential will be same so you will say potential of v1 equals to v2 equals to 3 volt now if i assume ground here what will be the potential of v2 that will be 2 volt right now you will say potential of v1 and v2 is equal because current is zero so there is no voltage drop across this 0.5 ohm resistance so potential of v1 and v2 is equal so you will say the v1 equals to v2 will be equals to 2 volt as per this it will be 2 volt if i assume the ground here it will be 3 volt no ground is mentioned i can't really tell the potential of this point i will assume the potential of this point is va and potential of this point is vb so if i write the nodal analysis what i will write v1 minus 6 by 1 plus v1 minus va by 1 v1 and v2 are equal right v1 equals to v2 so i can write v1 minus vb by 2 plus v1 minus 4 by 2 equals to 0 here v and vb are not known are not known that means what does that mean and v and vb are not known that means v1 and v2 cannot be determined cannot be determined are you getting this point this potential of these two points you don't really know so here v1 and v2 cannot be determined okay but the current will be zero because this i1 current will be flowing in the complete loop this i2 current is flowing in the complete loop did you see the concept what did i say whatever the current battery gives it has to take back the same amount of current okay many of the times i i i have seen teachers saying that the complete current will be flowing in the loop complete current will be flowing in the loop this is not the concept the current that is giving given by the battery the same current will be getting into the battery okay same with this 4 volt battery now let's move on to the next question let's just see here now i am saying this is giving me i1 current so this i1 current has no path so i1 current will be flowing like this okay now it will have to take back the same amount of current so this is taking i1 current it is again taking the i1 current now can you say by this an analogy that i1 current will be flowing here can you say that 
Ну, why so? Because this I1 current has two paths. One path is this and one path is this. So this I1 is the addition of these two currents. So you can't really say that your I1 current is flowing like this. Okay. But let's move on to this part. You can say that if this is giving I2 current, that means I2 current is flowing like this. It will take back the same amount of current. Now this I2 current doesn't have any path. So it has to flow like this. So in the complete loop, I2 current is flowing. So here you can see that in complete loop, I2 current is flowing. That means there is no current going this way. Right? So again, here the value of I is 0 ampere. And since this I1, I1 current is going like this and there is no current going here, that means this I1 current is flowing here. Are you getting this point? What did I say here? If you go by this analogy that I1 current is given here and it is taking back the same I1 current. Then you can't really say that this I1 current is flowing here. You can't really say that. What did you do? You went to this loop. You just saw that if this is giving I2 current, this will take back I2 current. So in the complete loop, I2 current is flowing. You just saw that. So what did you understand by that? Like if the complete current I2 is flowing, that means there is no current going this way. So that means in 0 0.5 ohm, in 0 0.5 ohm resistance, there is no current flowing. And if this I1 current is flowing in this one ohm resistance and there is no current coming from this, there is no current coming from this 0 0.5 ohm resistance. That means this I1 current should be flowing like this only. So this I1 current should be flowing in the complete loop. If I1 current is going out from there, then that means it has to flow like this because there is no current coming from this side. So I1 current is coming, 0 ampere current is coming. So I1 current only will flow. So only by seeing this loop, you can't really say that I1 current will flow. When you saw this loop, then you could comment that I1 current will flow. Did you understand this point? Many of the times I have seen students and teachers saying that, okay, one loop, current, complete current will flow, complete current will flow, that's it. But that is wrong. This is not the concept. Because this complete I2 current is flowing in this loop, that's why there will be no current in this 0, in this 0 0.5 ohm resistance. And because of that, this I1 current will flow in the loop only because it doesn't have any other path. Are you getting this point? So in this question, what is the current going into the ground? That is 0 ampere. Because you, you got to know that I1 current is flowing here, I1 current is flowing here. So 0 ampere current is going in that part. Okay. And now tell me what will be the value of V1 here. Value of V1 would be because this ground is mentioned here. Now the value of V1 would be 6 by 2. That means 3 volt. Simply voltage division, nothing else. Right. Or you can say that uh, the value of I1 or I can say what I can say is the value of I1 is 6 by 2. That means 3 ampere. So value of V1 would be 3 into 1. That means equals to 3 volt. That will be same as V2. Also here also the value of I1 is equals to 3 ampere. And value of I2 is equals to 1 ampere. And both of the current are flowing in the loop only. 3 ampere and 1 ampere. Okay. Here you can say value of I1 is 3 ampere. And value of I2 is 4 by 4 that means 1 ampere right what did I write here 1 ampere and 3 ampere the same amount of current just the voltage drop now you can de determine you here you can determine the voltage V1 and V2 so V1 and V2 is equals to 3 volt here okay what is the potential of this point let's just call it VB tell me what is the potential of this point because of 1 ampere current there is voltage drop of 2 volt here so if this is 3 3 plus 2 minus 4. This potential is 3, right? This potential is 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 minus 4, 1. So your VB is equal to 3 plus 2 minus 4 is equal to 1 volt. Okay, so this is not ground. This is 1 volt. This is 0 volt. This is 1 volt. Okay. Understood this concept? Let's move on to the next question. Again, Try solving, solving it on your own and tell me if the value of I is 0 or not. Let's just assume I1 current is flowing like this. It will take back the same amount of current. Here we can say that I1 current is flowing. Can you say the same amount of current is flowing here? By this loop, you can't really say. You don't really know the value. Now let's just assume I2 current is flowing here. So in this loop, I2 current will be flowing. We can say that. 
Now can you say this? Now this will take back the same amount of current. Now can you say what is the value of the current, this current? No. By this loop as well, you can't say the value of this current. I2 is current is flowing like this. This will also take I2 current, but it has a ground. It will also have some current. It has a ground. In this question, it didn't have any ground. So the complete current was flowing in this loop. So you could tell that there will be zero current in this resistance, in 0 0.5 ohm resistance. But here you can see that this is a complete, this is not a complete loop. There is a ground as well because both of these nodes are equal. So whatever the current is going here, the, the same current will be going into this. So addition of this current plus this current will be equal to I1 now. So ground will also have some current. Okay. Ground doesn't have zero current. Ground takes the current. Okay. So here you can't really say that this I2 current will be flowing that way. So here you can't really say. So here you will, you will need to apply the nodal analysis. So applying the nodal, applying nodal at V1. So V1 by 1 plus V1 minus 6 by 1 plus V1 minus V2 by 0 0.5 is equals to 0. Or you can write 4 V1 minus 6 minus 2 V2 is equals to 0. This is equation 1. Now applying nodal at V2. So it would be V2 by 2 plus V2 minus 4 by 2 plus V2 minus V1 by 0 0.5 is equals to 0. So it will be V2 plus 1 by 2. So it would be 3 V2 minus 2 V1 is equals to 2 or minus 2 is equals to 0. Right? I am just solving the equation, nothing else. So V2, 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 2 V2, 3 V2 minus 2 V1 minus 2 equals to 0. So this is the equation 2. So we will just solve the equation and get to the final answer. Okay. So what I can write 6 V2 minus 4 V1 minus 4 is equals to 0. So just add them up. Adding equation 1 and 3, what do you get? 4 V2 minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 is equals to 0. So V2 value we get is 10 by 4 that is 2.5 volt. Okay. And V1 value we will get is 2.5 into 2, 11 by 4. 11 by 4. What is 11 by 4? What is 11 by 4? Let me solve it with the calculator. 2.75. V1 value we get is 2.75. Let me recheck if the calculation is correct. Yeah, so the calculation is correct only. V1 value we are getting is 2.75. V1 value we are getting is 2.75 volt. And V2 value we are getting is 2.5 volt. Okay. So your I will be 2.75 minus 2.5 by 0 0.5. So it will be 0 0.25 by 0 0.5. That means it will be 0 0.5 ampere right okay so here your current is not equal to 0 but 0 0.5 ampere why it is happening because there is because there is a ground at both this this potential was 2.75 volt and this potential was 2.5 volt that means it is having 2.75 ampere current and this side is having 3.25 ampere current and the rest of the current is going that way that is 0 0.5 ampere current and what about this this is having 1.25 ampere current and this will have 1.5 uh, this is 1.5 by 2 1.5 by 2 means 0 0.75 ampere current okay so what how much current this ground is having 1.25 and 0 0.75 is going that way that means this ground is having 0 
5 ampere current and from here as well you can see 3.25 and 2.75 that means this ground is having okay this that means this ground will give 0.5 ampere current so basically this 0.5 ampere current is coming and getting into it are you getting this point did you get the complete analysis did you understand the complete analysis i will revise it once again first we understood that your i1 is not equal to i2 here that thing we understood okay then we saw that sorry here what did we understand that here your i is not equal to 0 because i1 current is getting out i1 current is getting in so that means ground can have some current here your ground can drive some current and in the same way here also your ground can drive some current so what we did we applied the nodal analysis in the previous question we can't really apply the nodal analysis if we apply the nodal analysis what will we write v1 minus 6 by 1 plus v1 minus 0 by 1 plus v1 minus v2 by 0 0.5 ohm that is fine but if you can you apply the nodal analysis at v2 v2 minus v1 by 0 0.5 what is the potential of this point potential of this point is vb plus 4 do you know the value of vb no you can't you don't know the value of vb because ground is not mentioned here even the potential is not mentioned so you don't really know the value of vb okay so you can't really apply that analysis that v2 minus 4 you can't really write v2 minus 4 by 2 okay you can't really apply the nodal but here you know the potential if this is 0 this is 4 that's for sure so you can apply the nodal analysis here and you can also see that this loop is not having i1 current only okay this complete loop is not having i1 current when you solve the complete circuit you got to know the value of v1 and v2 and here you can see 3.25 ampere current is going that way 0 0.5 is going that way 2.75 is going that way and to the ground 3.25 is going that way 2.75 is coming from here that means ground will drive 0 0.5 ampere current so from ground we are having 0 0.5 ampere current and the same current is coming from the other ground so this 0 0.5 ampere current is coming like this this complete 0 0.5 ampere current are you getting this point so here 0 0.75 0 0.5 that means 1.25 current is here so 1.25 current is here 0 0.75 current is here that means 0 0.5 ampere current is going downward 0 0.5 ampere 0 0.75 ampere so 1.25 ampere current is coming like this so this is the complete analysis this is the value of v1 v2 i1 and i2 and everything okay so what did we get as the value of i2 i2 value is 0 0.75 ampere i2 value is 0 0.75 ampere i1 value is 3.25 ampere 3.25 ampere the current in ground is 0 0.5 ampere okay so i hope you have understood the con complete concept there are these three kind of questions are there one when there is no ground okay when there is no ground mentioned that means the current through the middle one will be zero when there is one ground mentioned the current through the middle one is again zero when there are two ground mentioned that means there can be the current between the between that two nodes okay so there can be some current when there are two ground mentioned so if two grounds are mentioned then there can be the current okay so i hope you have understood the concept if they ask you any kind of question like this you will be able to answer okay then so okay let's move on to the next video